The canoe cradle consists of three separate parts. The bottom of the canoe and two sides. For the bottom of the canoe, start with a 10 stitches long base chain. Then work one turning chain and work a first row of 10 single crochet stitches, then another turning chain. Second row, I skipped the first loop and starting from the second, I worked 7 single crochet stitches, then I decreased one in the last two loops of the row. Third row, I skipped the first base loop starting from the second, I did five single crochet stitches, again a decrease in the last two loops and this time I don't need the turning chain because we are going to work in this direction. Just tilt a little bit the work and we will need to do three chain stitches on this edge. This is half of the bottom of the canoe. Now I can work a turning chain and I am going to repeat the pattern from row number one and repeat it. I'm going to repeat it all the same. Bottom of the canoe ready. For the canoe side, start with a 12 stitches long base chain plus a turning chain. Then the first row increase one stitch in the first loop of the base chain. Work 12 single crochet stitches and increase another stitch in the last loop to reach a total of 14 single crochet stitches. Turn in chain, turn the job and in row number 2 again increase a stitch in the first and a stitch in the last loop of the row to reach a total of 16 single crochet stitches. Row number 4 increase one stitch in the first loop work 16 single crochet stitches then again increase a stitch in the last loop to reach a total of 18 single crochet stitches. Turning chain to the job and row number 5 will be again 18 single crochet stitches. Row number 6 increase a stitch in the first loop work 18 single crochet stitches again increase a stitch in the last loop for a total of 20 single crochet stitches. Last row increase a stitch in the first loop work 20 single crochet stitches again increase one stitch in the last loop and that's a side of the canoe finished. Repeating the same pattern I do the other side too. Once all your parts are ready you can join them together either with a wool needle or rows of single crochet stitch all around the edges and then tie off and tidy up all the threads and the canoe is ready to be used as a cradle for the baby figurine.